and I have to say, it is one of the sector working together. And I think I'd probably take bits from each one because it is about big, it is about little, it is about um, <coughs> various bits and pieces, it is about understanding the demographics. But I think in all of that, while we're still working together, we have to remember <coughs> our, our, our own identities. Aaron and I <coughs> are an ID. They've got boats. <laughs> I've got hearing aids. <laughs> <laughs> He's got the second largest uh, legacy income. I think last time I looked, I think I was like 26. I'm even below RNIB. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm below, I don't know how many animal charities. Please don't ask me about animal charities. <laughs> <laughs> so, really, my vision is that. We are going to, number one, continue working together because we do that and we do it very well. Uh, number two, we work within our charities to do the integrated marketing. Now, I don't actually agree with Paul that um, legacy marketing will be no more. I think you're going to need legacy specialists, but it's a case of we have to push to get our, our subtle messages in newsletters, on response forms, um, et cetera, et cetera. So it's going to be very much part of it. Uh, and I've just come from um, a legacy day. But we don't actually ask our audience their best of the legacy. I never have done. Um, I've been running these for three years. So I made a conscious decision. <laughs> You're all right, sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not to ask people if they've left the legacy. You're pathetic, Matt. <laughs>